Hello, just a little studio update, trying out a new recording system. Uh, trying to get the eye, it's really hard. Uh, just a Sunday update on what I'm doing. This is a present for for Ula. Let's see. Ah, the eyes. They are so difficult to get right. Concentrating. Yeah, so here is um, a tabletop red, ready dwarf miner with uh, gold nuggets. It's a cool little thing. So, yeah. Oh, what else am I up to? Well, I'm painting trebuchets. I'm gonna make this look older. I got two of them, so this one will be the old faithful one. Well, let's see, zoom out. Don't get, uh, don't have a Igor, so I must do this myself. Okay, here we go. Tabletop ready in a bit. Rust effect and gonna make uh, the stones look older. I think more uh, get them more white washed. And this is the new one. A little compare them. A little different wood. Uh, color to make it look newer so yep that's that and some of my nights are beginning to get ready uh, I'm gonna have um, this orangey color on all the swords and the leather color for all the horses to make them um, look um, so I'm maybe more the same, you know, to tie them up a bit. So they have, even though they've got uh, different colors, they're gonna have s some something that looks alike to tie the Bretonians together. So yeah, the decals very fiddly to get in. And it's a very, uh, very nice to have. Uh, let's see. Uh, just a moment, guys. Oh, the last one. Where is it? This decal medium. It makes it soften, so you can get it in between and all around. And then you maybe use matte varnish over that. To make um, the decal not look uh, decally, uh, if that makes makes sense. So yeah, and you you can see on the horse. After I try to make them stand out, every single one of them look a little different. And I I use. And may may not see this uh, in the video. So, yeah. I, I, for the eyes and in the nose, I use uh, gloss varnish to make it uh, shine, so it looks alive. 